Animal therapy can be incredible. Doctors told this dad to buy a dog for his paralyzed son. No one expected what would happen next. Come with us to see what happened. Tim and Robin always imagined their home full of kids and animals. They bought a home where they could have a few children. To them. It sounded like the ideal life. And they couldn't wait to get started. They wanted their children first and. Then to get animals that would grow up with their children. And the kids could really enjoy them. But life has a funny way of changing all the plans that you've made. They had it all planned out. They would get married and. After a year or two. They would start trying for a baby. They would space them out and have three children. Each with an age gap of around two years. It was a great plan if it wasn't for the fact that babies. And life don't always work on our timeline. They waited for a year after they got married. And then they started trying to have a baby. But that was when things started to go wrong. After more than a year of trying. They realized that it wasn't going to happen naturally. They had to try a bunch of different fertility options. And most of them didn't work. It took a few years and a lot of money. But eventually. It all paid off. And they got pregnant. They were incredibly excited when their first little girl was born. It wasn't only Tim and Robin that were overjoyed by the arrival of their baby. But their families shared this joy too. It was a massive blessing for everyone. When their daughter was around a year old. They started the process all over again. But this time they got pregnant much quicker with the fertility process. Sadly. They lost the baby soon after. Experiencing pregnancy loss was devastating. But they desperately wanted to give their child a sibling. They had to take the plunge and try again. They got pregnant quickly. And everything went smoothly. It was only toward the end of the pregnancy that things started to go wrong. Robin experienced some cramping. And contractions and ended up on bed rest. They tried to get her as far into the pregnancy as normal. But eventually. The baby was born way too early. It was another little girl. And she spent some time in the NICU. Luckily for them. She was a little fighter. And before too long. She was on her way home. She was a healthy and happy little girl. Tim and Robin decided that. They were done growing their family at that point. They had always hoped that they would have a large family. But they already felt blessed. There was a stage that they didn't think. They would ever be able to have children. So the fact that they had two little girls running around in. Their backyard was already incredible. The long journey to build their family had tired them out. So much had happened in such a short time. They didn't have the energy for the next steps of their plans. They knew that getting dogs or other pets could be just as hard work as having a new baby. Tim and Robin didn't have the energy to get their kids any animals. At least not yet. They just wanted to take some time and enjoy the moments. There were many special moments to enjoy with two young kids. But after around a year. Something happened that they could never see coming. Suddenly. Robin wasn't feeling very well. And she was really tired. At first. They thought that it might have been stress catching up with her. But even after they took a nice relaxing holiday. She didn't feel better. Tim urged her to go to the doctor. And together they went to get it checked out. They were shocked when they got the news. Without any help or intervention. They were pregnant. Robin was going to have a baby. And this time they got pregnant completely naturally. Their minds were blown. But they were seriously excited. The doctors did warn that. Robin was at greater risk for complications during this pregnancy. But they were willing to risk it. They never expected this surprise. But they were going to grab onto it with both hands. Robin had to be extra careful. But she was happy to do everything that the doctors told her to. At the same time. 
you can only do so much. And very quickly into the pregnancy, Robin started experiencing issues. She had contractions and almost lost the baby in the first trimester. But the doctors could stop it. She struggled with feeling ill all pregnancy long. The baby seemed to be doing well on sonograms. And that was the most important part. But they were also very excited to learn that. They were going to have a little boy this time. Just as they did with their second baby. They went into labor way too early this time. Robin's labor took a long time. And eventually. They had to take her into an emergency C-section. Their baby was injured in the process. And he was partially paralyzed. He couldn't use the left side of his body at all. It was really sad. But doctors explained that. He might get slightly better with. The help of physical therapy when he was a little bit older. They named him Clark and gave him all the support that they could. Despite his limitations. Clark was a happy baby. And his sisters adored him. But as he got older. He faced more challenges. His restrictions didn't matter as much when he was a tiny baby. But as he got older. He wanted to follow his sisters while they played. This obviously wasn't possible. They took him to many doctors. But none of them could give them any answers. There was no medicine or operation that. They could prescribe to help the little boy heal. It seemed like his parents were just going to have to. Make peace with the fact that he was going to have challenges. But at least they could find different ways to help him cope. One neurologist that they visited with Clark said that. Kids do really well with animal therapy. He gave them a list of places that they could visit to interact with dogs or horses. But he also said that it might be better to just get Clark his own dog. He recommended a Chow Chow or a Labrador. They didn't really believe that getting a pet would be able to help Clark. But it did get them thinking. The challenges they had faced with. Their children had changed their plans so much. But they also wanted the kids to grow up with animals. They decided to start searching for a dog for all of the children. They did like the idea of getting a Labrador. Because they knew that those dogs were awesome with children. They searched the local shelters. And one of them told Tim that they had the perfect pup for the family. Lucy was great with kids. And the two girls took to having a dog very quickly. But the dog seemed to sense that baby Clark needed her companionship. The two of them quickly built a really special bond. Lucy the dog was amazingly gentle with the baby. She also understood that she needed to come closer to the baby. Because it wasn't as easy for him to come to her. The baby would giggle when the dog came near. And put his hand out to touch her. But no one expected what happened next. One day. As Lucy came closer to Clark. He laughed as normal. But suddenly both his little arms came up to try to touch the dog. This was the first time he used his left arm. Slowly. The dog helped Clark to get better and move more. He got up on both legs by holding on to Lucy. And he even walked for the first time. Because he could balance against the dog. Tim and Robin couldn't believe it. They had worried that their little boy was always going to face challenges. Because of his traumatic birth. But with the help of a very special dog. He was getting better every day. By the time the boy was around four years old. He was completely recovered. He could run with Lucy and his sisters. And Tim and Robin finally had the family they had always dreamed of. It did happen much differently than they expected it to happen. But it was all completely worth it in the end. The journey was difficult. But they all got through it. And now they had three beautiful and healthy children. Plus an incredible dog added to their family. A group of divers rescues a whale caught in a fishing net. And you never know what the whale does next. Whales are rarely seen off the coastline of Spain's Balearic Islands. So when a 40-foot-long, 12-meter, humpback was spotted near Mallorca. 
It attracted a lot of attention. This poor whale was trapped in a drifting net and couldn't save itself. A passing boat first noticed the animal and dispatched divers from the Palma de Mallorca Aquarium to try to free it. However, ocean rescue was unsuccessful and, to their dismay, the whale appeared to be weakened from its restraint. Fortunately, humpback whales are relatively easy to spot due to their large size, which is about the size of a school bus. Humpback whales migrate in the ocean according to the seasons. And unlike other whales, they have a curious nature. Large pectoral fins, a black back, and a light belly. Most notably the hump in front of their dorsal fin, which it is also the source of their names. Given that commercial whaling has been banned since the 1980s, the biggest threats to a whale's life are collisions with ships and entanglement in fishing equipment such as nets. The whale's life is in danger and swift action must be taken to rescue it. If the ocean center can't save the whale, can anyone else? The crew report the critical situation to Mallorca and ask for help. Fortunately, both dive centers responded quickly to the call. And divers from Squalo and Albatros Dive Center quickly joined up about 3 miles, 5 kilometers, from the shoreline. After assessing the situation, the team decided they had to send professional divers armed with knives to manually cut the nets off the whale. Drift nets were actually banned by the United Nations decades ago because of the damage they caused to marine life. These giant nets are designed to collect large numbers of fish and aquatic life. Not specific animals. Not only does this greatly affect the local ecosystem, but it also creates a lot of waste. As the creatures that are caught are often disposed of. If fishermen cannot eat or sell them, trawling is now banned due to ecosystem disturbance and the needless killing of vast numbers of marine life. Unfortunately, some fishermen still use trawling illegally. In this case, Dangerous red netting is wrapped around the whale's body, covering almost its entire body, restricting the whale's ability to move, and making it very difficult to swim normally. To make matters worse, the net also got entangled in the whale's mouth. The whale is in very bad condition and its health is rapidly deteriorating. Four divers immediately jumped into the water to start a rescue operation. Divers know they have to work fast and efficiently, but be careful not to further disturb the whales. After all, it's an unpredictable scene because it's a wild animal. A rescue operation could have gone one of two ways. But dedicated experts were determined to save the suffering animal as best they could. Gigi Torres is a 32-year-old marine biologist and a very good diver who owns and operates the Albatross Dive Center in Spain, and has done extensive research on marine life in the past. Even with such a wealth of experience, this encounter is still very unique and special. Gigi describes the experience of interacting with whales, in terms of wonder and appreciation. After all, interacting with mammoth humpback whales, isn't something you encounter every day. After all it was tense to begin with, the diver jumped into the water and swam towards the tethered and desperate whale. According to Gigi's description of the whale's limbs, the whale seemed a little disturbed by the diver's approach. The air bubbles stirred up by the diver's swim seemed to make the whale nervous. But the divers remained calm and coordinated, demonstrating their desire to help and hopefully reassure the poor creature. Starting with the whale's head, the divers carefully cut the net to completely loosen its mouth, then worked their way down its body. The rescue operation was coordinated very well, even though the divers reported barely discussing the plan of action together, as if they all knew what role to play and how best to save the humpbacks. The divers circled the whale, 
cutting the net from all angles to avoid any jamming or unnecessary loads that would stress the already injured whale. They have to be careful with the knife, not wanting to cause more pain or distress to the whale. Imagine the tense scene, with four divers insignificant in the open waters, compared to a huge whale in distress. Not to mention the potential danger of other marine animals lurking around. It's a huge compliment to their teamwork and superb aquatic knowledge to move so quickly. Not to forget the bravery of the divers. They were the right people for the job. The whale must have been relieved. That the experts seemed to have quickly completed the first part of their difficult task of freeing the whale's mouth from the net. What happened next was nothing short of miraculous. Gigi said, as they cut through the net, the whale seemed to understand they were there to help it. And instead of writhing like a frightened animal, it started joining the divers cooperate. The humpback relaxes and stays still, allowing the divers to work faster, accurately interpreting the whale's body language, and deftly cutting the net to avoid damaging the whale's skin. In less than an hour and only 45 minutes, the whale was freed with the entire net covering the whale's body removed. They worked from end to end. So the whale could easily swim out of the net at the end of the process. According to Gigi, eventually the whale was freed with a slight twist and was able to swim freely again. Surprisingly, the whale did not swim away immediately after being released and stayed around the diver for a short time presumably to regain some strength. Gigi described her time swimming with the humpback whales as unbelievable. As from another world, divers remained in the water with the whale, not sure if it needed more help. Over the next few minutes, however, the whale grew stronger and was able to swim easily with the diver. This is the third time humpbacks have been seen in the area. So it's a very special moment. Especially for Gigi because it's also her birthday. Gigi rescued this beautiful mammal. And got the chance to swim and interact with it on her birthday. She and her ocean-loving companions perform an amazing underwater rescue. Even more incredible. The whale's reaction made the day even more special. The whales gained enough strength to confidently leave the enclosure. And socialize with the divers. They had expected it to swim away like most other animals. But the whale befriended the divers and it couldn't just go away without saying goodbye. Divers agreed it was a deliberate gesture by the whale, which signaled its thanks and swam away. This beautiful moment of mutual gratitude and appreciation, Gigi said was the best birthday present she ever had. It's always nice when kindness is reciprocated but it's especially magical. When it happens between two completely different animal species is one of the basic instincts of all living things, and it sometimes comes into play in very unusual and surprising situations. The case I want to tell you today happened in Anapa, Russia. The city is known for its beaches and extraordinary scenery. There is the Sukho Valley with juniper and pistachio forests, the Caucasus foothills with mixed forests, and flat plateaus dotted with sea estuaries. Many Russians would love to live there. Unfortunately, stray animals do not feel much better in Anapa than in other parts of the country, especially when the climate is less comfortable during the cold season. It was during those frigid days in the south that volunteers discovered an unusual family on the brink of starvation. However, it turns out that a cat took these babies under its shelter even before humans, providing them with shelter and food. The story may seem fictional at first glance, but hearing it from someone who witnessed it, and witnessing the fate of stray babies, makes people sigh. Ekaterina is a volunteer who takes care of stray animals and regularly checks on her area. Summer has been over for a while, but the number of stray dogs and cats living on the streets has not diminished. They all need to be fed, and they all need at least some kind of shelter for the winter. Unfortunately, it is nearly impossible to find a permanent or even foster home for these animals. 
When small animals end up on the streets, their chances of surviving without human help are slim to none, especially if they don't have a mother. Young animals are more likely to find new homes than adults because they are cute and small. Unfortunately, people often treat small animals as living toys, which means that when they become adults, they may end up being abandoned again. As Ekaterina was inspecting her area, a woman who lived nearby told her they heard some kind of creak coming from the cracks in the concrete slabs. It sounds like a kitten or some other animal. The woman also shared that the yard cat, Marquis, lived there for a long time. The other animals don't even try to get in anymore because the owner there guards his home carefully. The woman had fed Marquis, so they noticed he started hiding food in his hideout, and they shared a strange story with the volunteers. Someone threw a box containing six puppies into a bin near the building, but the puppies were gone. Marquis kept a tight grip on that trash can, always looking for extra food there and never letting strangers near it. The puppies showed up early in the morning, but when people tried to find someone to take them in, the boxes were empty. Since they are so small and cute, they think someone will take them home. The women were amazed at how quickly their problems were resolved, but they were glad it all ended so well. Everyone was hoping it was really a happy ending, but it seemed odd that all the puppies were gone and the box was still in place, and now the squeaks were coming from the hole. However, for some unknown reason, no one managed to connect the dots, which is too bad because it turned out to be a very interesting story. Ekaterina stood there, waiting for the voice to return, feeling cold. Horrible thoughts crept into the woman's mind as she thought of the little animals that had to live in the streets. Suddenly, she saw a big cat running around the corner with a mouse in its mouth. The cat looked at everyone suspiciously, and then quickly got into the gap under the stone slab as if nothing had happened. Soon, gasps came from the mouth, and after a while, Ekaterina also heard creaks. She realized there must be those puppies in there, but no one was sure, nor how many animals were in there, nor how to lure them out. She decided to remove the slab. This place needs repairs anyway. They called in a handyman who lived in the building, and he carefully widened the gap and moved some of the slabs. After about half an hour, the cat's hiding place will be accessible. Imagine people's surprise when they saw the cat and six small dogs staring at them from behind the flagstones. Those are puppies that were recently found in the trash. They lay there, close together for warmth. The cat looks at the man who broke into his house in confusion. He looked around worriedly, but stayed put, trying to cover the pup with his body. As people decide what to do with the unusual family, Marquez has been tongue-cleaning his adopted child, bringing tears to his eyes. Ekaterina decided to take the whole unusual family. This cat has lived on the street for a long time and has never been taken in before. But she suddenly decides to bring this stubborn resident home. No one really intended to take the cat at first, but when they tried to take the puppy, the cat refused to leave his adopted baby. When Ekaterina tried to reach for the box, Marquis hissed angrily at her. Eventually, the puppies were carefully placed in a box, and the cat jumped in after them. So volunteers took the family away. When talking about what happened, the women concluded that Marquis had found the puppy near the dump and that his fatherhood must have awakened in some strange way. He carried the puppies into his hole, warmed them with his own body, and tried to feed them with whatever he could find. Thankfully it's been a little while since the unusual family started, as the puppies have lost weight, but at least they're still alive. Ekaterina took care of the whole family, but dealing with the puppy's foster father was the hardest part. Since he didn't want domestication, a new home was built for the unusual family, where the cat continues to care for his adopted babies. It was noticed that the cat became a very loving father. The puppies quickly became healthy and started to grow. Volunteers found loving homes for most of the puppies, and when only two were left, Ekaterina found new owners for Marquis. After hearing the cat's story, people wanted to adopt it. However, Ekaterina didn't want to move him into a new home right away because she saw how difficult it was for him to separate from his puppy. It was decided that the family would not take Marquis to his new home until all the puppies had found new homes.
The woman told Cat that the new family would take care of his puppy, but Marquis clearly didn't believe her because he kept hissing at whoever took his puppy. Marquis is slowly preparing for the move. First, the cat was moved from the dog house to the real house. By this time, the puppies had grown up and started fighting their adoptive father. They are not intentional. They just want to play with him. But since they get quite large, they keep accidentally hurting cats. Eventually, all the puppies found new homes and it was decided to arrange for the cats to move. Thus, every animal that a cat arena found found their forever home. This extraordinary act of heroism by stray cat Marquis has been remembered by those around him for a long time. They were amazed at how the cat developed parental affection for other people's babies, even babies of a different species. After all, not every cat will accept other cats' kittens. Marquis didn't hesitate to adopt a group of puppies.